to make this card for us. Um, I'll just bring it up a bit higher so you can have a look. So what I've got is a Knight of Navy card base. I've got some strips of Knight of Navy, Tranquil Tide and Crumb Cake. Uh, we've got this stamp uh, which is from the uh, Truly Tailored um, stamp set. That's this one here. Uh, which one is it? This one. I've cut it out using the um, punch, which is called the Tailored Tag Punch. Hello, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> and then to finish off, I've got some of this corduroy ribbon which is really cool. As you can see, it's a pretty easy card, but if you'll notice, I've tried something different. Um, I used the Stamparatus and I'll show you how I did that uh, to get the different colors like that. And I think it's a pretty cool technique using the Stamparatus. So without further ado, let's get it started. Oh, one other thing, there's a layer there of um, the DSP, uh, which is the True Gentleman DSP. It's just uh, a bit of interest in the background there. So I'm going to make this card and at the end of the card um, I will show you an alternative that I've made using a different stamp set uh, but using the same sort of layout. So let's get going. So first of all we have the card base. Don't look too closely at that. <laughs> then we have a tray of the uh, DSP. I've used a different one on this one. This one here had uh, some green stripes. This one here has some other different patterns there. And then I've got the layer of the white. Now, what I've done is I've pre-cut these just so you don't have to wait for me to do it because this is not the part of the card that I really want to show you. Um, it's the other part of the card. So it'll just go like that. And then I have another piece of card that I'm going to stamp on. So let's just quickly get this done. So I am going to just smear some some Tombow. I'll just roughly get the width of what I need uh, so I know I don't go overboard. Yeah, that should be okay. So what I really want to do is just lay the first one out properly, straight. And then the rest can go uh, yeah that's fine just put that to the side now. This is the part that I really want to focus on today, how I did uh, the different colours like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the Stemperatus. I've got some wipes and this is going to be very important uh, during our, uh, what we're going to do today. So I've got a piece of cardstock which I'll put in there. I'll just put a magnet. And I will just lay the stamp out. Now the one that I want is this one. Okay. Whoops, I just moved that. So let's just see if that's still okay. Yep, perfect. So I'll pick up the stamp. Now let's just have a look at the original version. 
So see how the outside is in Sahara sand, uh, not Sahara sand, it's in crumb cake. This part here is in Knight of Navy, and this part here, which you can see a bit better now, that is in Tranquil Tide. So there's lots of ways that you can do that, but I'm going to show you how I did it using the Stamparatus. So what I'm first going to do is stamp the whole image in crumb cake. Yeah, that's about right. Now, you can probably see that from there. I'll bring it up a bit higher. But it's not the cleanest stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-ink it. And stamp it again. Now that is my favourite um, feature of the Stamparatus, that you can just stamp and stamp and stamp. Great. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, while it's still there, I'm going to just wipe it clean. Now I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper, I'm going to cover it, I'm just going to stamp that, just to get the wetness away. Perfect. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to colour using a marker. I'm not going to move the stamp off the stamparatus, so I'm just going to colour in the comb. There we have it. Can you see that? I'll lift it up a bit. And that's a Tranquil Tide comb. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just clean that again without taking it off. I'll do the same thing, just put the scrap there. Now what I'm going to do is just colour in the 2 way classy kind of guy. Ah, uh, just the classy part. So, let's just colour that in. So, that looks good. I'll just show that to you a bit closer. Sorry for bumping there. So that's not bad, but you know what? I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to colour it in blue. Again. See that? And that's it. So while I'm here, I'll just wipe that quickly. And that's it. That's no more stamping left on this card. So I'll carefully put the magnet away. Some people have been having problems with the magnet jumping around. I haven't yet, which is good. So what I'm now going to do is just use the punch and cut that out. Now the piece of card that I've used is a bit too big, so I'll just cut that. Excellent. 
So now let's assemble this card together. So I'll stick that down just directly with some Tombow. Ooh. Should I use that side? What do you think? Mm, no, nah, I think I'll use the other side. Yeah, that's nicer. Look, I like this colour, but I think um, it's better on the other side. Very good. Now I'm going to stick this down with some dimensionals. No judging, okay. mount that down there. Excellent. So then we've got there, but notice on the original card we've got that piece of um, this, which is corduroy ribbon in Knight of Navy. So I want to do the same thing for this one. So let's just get the length right. So I want it to look, go around, then around like that, and then around down again, because the other side is pretty, it's pretty ugly. So I want it to sort of look like that, but I also want it to cross. So what I'll do is I'll cross that over like that. I'll cut these a bit shorter and on an angle. Now what I'm going to do is cross that over like that. So I'm going to put a dimensional in between the two layers. Just there. Oops. Okay, so it's going to sit like that, but I want it to stick to the the base. So I'm just going to put a dot, a dab of um, glue to do that. I was going to put another dimensional, but it sort of makes it a bit high, so I decided against that. So I'll just stick that there. Now, what I'm going to do for the next, to stick this down, is use some foam adhesive strips. These here. Have you used those much? They're pretty awesome. So that's what I'm going to use. Just so it sits above the, um, above the ribbon. So I'm going to put some along there and along there. So I'll turn that over and just measure those. Now which sides is it that I'm going to use again? 
So that one, which is that one. And that one. And so that way it'll miss the ribbon when I stick it down. And that's our card today. You like? So, just a reminder on some of the products that we've used. I just used the foam adhesive strips, which are awesome if you don't already have them. I used the truly tailored stamp set. I used the tailored tag punch. Can sell myself again? Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty awesome a coordinating die with that. I used the corduroy ribbon, which is pretty cool. And I used the uh, True Gentleman Designer Series paper just on the back there. Now what's pretty cool is that these two come together as a bundle, uh, so you can save some money on that. Now, I mentioned at the start of the video that I was going to show an alternative to this card. Now, this card is very masculine in colours, uh, the way that it's laid out. But I thought I would try it uh, using some different colours and some different products. So, some of the products that I'm using are from page 14 of the uh, Occasions catalogue. So the stamp set that I'm using is A Good Day and the Coordinating Punches. So this is the punch that I've used. It's the 1 and 3 eighths uh, punch. And the stamp set that I used is A Good Day. And the paper that I used was the Tutti Frutti paper. So would you like to see the results of what I made? And that's it. So you can see that the paper is the 2D Fruity paper. It's got Pool Party, it's got Berry Burst, and I also picked out the um, Bermuda Bay from the, um, the paper. That's one of the other colours that's used. I used a Pool Party uh, card base. I used these, um, I used those mini embroidery hoops uh, which you might not have seen in the catalogue before. They're pretty cool and they coordinate with this size punch, which is really awesome. But notice how I did the same sort of uh, technique there. So I stamped the background sun in Pool Party. I then went over the uh, stitched line using Bermuda Bay and then I went over the sentiment uh, with Berry Burst. And so it's such a quick way of using different colours on the one stamp. So they're the two cards that I made using the same layout. Um, one's definitely very masculine and one's not so much. So uh, that's an idea. I'd love to see if you come up with some different ideas using that same sort of technique, using the stamparatus and the different colours on the stamps. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.